Uh, I'm hopping on live now. So I'll be trying to solve Google Kickstarter on the E today. So I'll be trying to solve Google Kickstarter on E. I was not able to uh, participate in real time. <coughs> My mic's working great. My mic's all good. So let's start with problem A uh, longest arithmetic. An arithmetic array is narrowed at least to two So it is equally complicated which is for example three 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 nine seven five three arithmetic arrays by one three three seven and arithmetic arrays. So it's what you have an area of one and one and two plus the ith integer of array is there you know such integers arithmetic are direct from as per enough determine such array so the answer is always two or more I guess uh, so the problem is asking us we are given an array a1 a2 a3 and let's say a n and if difference between these two elements and these two elements so on is equal this will be a arithmetic sub -area. So this should be quite simple. We can store the difference between all the elements. Let's say difference here is z, here is y, here is x, and here is x again. So we have to find the contiguous subarray that is the same number. Uh, like if there are five x's in a row and there are three y's in a row, we know that this subarray is optimal because it has uh, highest number of equal elements and answer will be plus one because we are talking differences so for five equal differences we will have six terms and so this should be it I guess <coughs> so let's get started <coughs> sorry I'm a little sick So we can start with the vector. Let's set up our data first. This is code uh, Google, so we need to for long number is equal to good one. This is a point. Yep. <coughs> Sorry for that. Uh, oh, we are the label vector n. Let's copy the input. Uh, we are already putting a vector n, so let's take another vector. Let's see that the answer is 2. There is a very good answer. <coughs> so vector long long, let's say differences. Size and minus 1. Uh, for long, y is equal to 0 and c is 10. So we will store difference of and difference of uh, r is equal to uh, do we have to consider absolute difference okay, 2 1 2 this is absolute uh, like are not arithmetic so there is uh, so we have to consider uh, the difference. It's not absolute difference. 
So we have to consider the same. We have five. Zero five. Let's say before now I'll just iterate over the difference of that uh, is less than minus this plus i file uh, i plus one is less than uh, <coughs> plus one is less than minus one and then Difference of I plus one. Let's keep a very variable counter. I should have two one. Why I should have plus one. I plus one is equal to also five. Count plus plus or plus plus answer is equal to so count plus one <coughs> this should work Let's see it also let's try this Oh, oh, guys. So the required answers four four three six. What to call so Fix my mouse for a second. Yeah, so four four three six it seems to work. <coughs> um, so let's see plus plus also take out this because there is no flag no non object on the Google test time on the Google online let's see. So I got them. Okay, so we pass the first one. Let's go to the second one. And I will take like 10 to 15 minutes to solve a problem. If I'm not, I will see the algorithm and then up solve that. So in an unspecified country, Google has an office consisting of an office buildings in a lane. Number one to n and left to right. The height of each one to one to one and use it, and then see that the people in first. So, if you wanted to see this card, it's there. Before and even the front of the campus to left the building, you can do this right this front of the campus to the right of the building. Similarly, see under the rightmost point of the campus. We will give us less than the The answer will be this will be the if there is no to the left of the building that is strictly higher than the second car. In order to see the building as this will be the 
Uh, we are giving n buildings and each building has an height from 1 to n um, there is a person a standing here he is watching the buildings from this side and if we can see the tallest building if there is a decrease a decrease in heights you will only able you will only be able to see up to this point. So he sees these are buildings and the guy on this side sees buildings B. He can only see up to these. So that's just still good to see. Let's so if our guy is seeing and building from his side, just keep building one 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 one. These are the A buildings. Okay, get up. Left guy can see. Not one one, that's it is increasing. Say one. The height here is A. So you can see these a buildings. <coughs> this side can see these b buildings. But then the height must be same. If c is greater than 1, buildings in the middle must have seen heights. Otherwise, it's never, never possible because we know that the building at this side is smaller. So, C guy will never be able to see the second side. So, first, if C is greater than 1, all the common buildings. All the common buildings will be of same height. And you can get, you guys get the point. <laughs> so that is the first. That is the first thing I don't put to say. <laughs> For each case, is impossible. Everything given by must be right of the So we are given N. C 
so there are three buildings that the right can see let's try it. So the guy on this side can see one building, the guy on the right can see three buildings, so that is possible if it were like this. Okay. Okay. Now four four three C uh, the guy on the this side can see four buildings. Guy on this side can also see four buildings. But the common building is three, that's not possible because they are both seeing four buildings. <coughs> okay. So I think as long I can always construct one such thing. Let me just try and quote this. And we have uh, solve and now let's see what is possible. Return false here. I'm not able to solve. Let's keep three variables and A, B, and C. So let's make one. If we have A on this side, B on this side, C here, A plus B, okay, and I'm counting C two times now. So A minus C plus B minus C, A minus C plus B minus C plus C should be. Yeah, so A plus B minus C should be equal to N. That's the first condition. Uh, F. Else we can always solve it, I think. If A plus B minus C is greater than N. <coughs> or not. Let's be C. Let's come on. Turn false.
my opponent problem is when A and C are one. Those are the edge cases, I think. So that those. And it can also be one, so that's it. So that's it. Mm -hmm. set two and then two. This should not be so hard. I'm only worried about the edge cases. And this one or something. This one is equal to one. See uh, See my problem. How I'll set it as well. How do I come to the excuses? What I'm thinking is I can always put one. Multiple twos. If C is equal to zero, there is no intersection. I'm also considering this intersection. C can be zero, right? Or C is never zero, so they always intersect. That's something. <coughs> so they always intersect. Mm -hmm. And the issue that is over. Okay, so what I can do is uh, L with ones and A minus C twos. This should be A. This must C. And then once again, yeah. it should work. We have already counted the edge case. So let's just do this. Let's I can do the same. The only problem is the non-intersection part. They are getting the original intersection. 
so what I'm doing is I'm just using two values when we have problems like this it's never advisable to use multiple values that is can this it can get hard just use two values because your your only point is to keep increasing and decreasing and you can do this with just two values and using one and two because I've already counted the x is equal to one so I will always have high two now to work with and I will build a city with height one Hello? Antipan? Uh, sorry about that. I had to turn a call and hello Mundo. Uh, nice to see you. see you back. So what I was saying was in cases when you have to just keep track of increasing and decreasing stuff, just use two values. If you use multiple values, it will be hard to keep track of. And it can be really challenging. So what I'm doing is I'm just keeping one to keep the higher <laughs> and then two to keep increasing heights. This will add to A. This will be a minus c, and then this will be sorry, this will be a minus a minus c, this will be c, and this will be b minus c. As you can see, they can both see the c buildings, and they can this guy can see b buildings, he can see the a buildings. So, this will be of thought, this will be the optimal construction now. So, I'm scoring in that now, and it should work fine, I guess. I think my logic right. Uh, there should be no end on here. Some spaces. And an end on the end. This should work fine according to me. Should be this. Uh -oh. Sorry, I forgot to take inputs. That's it. 
and I'll be streaming just tomorrow maybe. Is it still seem impossible? A plus B minus C. So now to go to the bank for us. Okay, this is weird. Let's be not a This guy can see one building, this guy can see three building. The common building is here. How come? What is C? You see, not the building. You also learned that there are C buildings that are visible to both of them. That's what I'm doing, right? We can see one building here, that's correct. We can see two. Three. We can only see. Oh. 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 We cannot see this building, but we can see this building. No, this is hard. I was wondering if he can just see up to this button. Okay, we can skip in between. That makes it out. A uh, plus B minus C does not work. Skip B. So you can see A out of N buildings. You can see B out of N buildings. This, uh, this is B. A and B can be intersecting. This is the operation of the buildings. A plus B minus C. Question. I'm getting accept of this result. This is tough. Uh.
a plus b plus four. <coughs> okay, so now we are skipping some buildings to fix them. You can see this one building. And see this two building. Oh, perfect. See. This should only work. It is free. And this is equal to. Now we need to consider in the case when we are skipping buildings. How do we count it out? Uh, the editor I'm using it, sublime text. Sublime text D. Uh, how long is the stream been going? 40 minutes. I will try to just solve this problem. Maybe we can cover the other two problems in some other time. When it is stream, sorry. Because there is already getting on the nerves. Okay, so we have considered the case when there are no building scripts. Now we need to consider the case when there are building scripts. So if I keep two here and three here, I will just hide the one buildings that nobody is able to see here. Okay. And three buildings here. And another two buildings here. I need to work there or another one to do so. I'm oh, sorry for that. So, okay. This should work if some of these two let's call this A, let's call this and let's call this X and not X. And for some PQRS. This is P, this is Q, this is R and then Q plus R should be equal to C, P plus Q plus R should be equal to A, Q plus R plus S, B. So this is Q plus R is equal to C. So S is equal to B minus C. I can just keep all these here. Okay, so I need to just worry about N is equal to 1 to this. Let's see. N is equal to 2. This is the only case I'm worried about. 
I'm just coding the third case. Let's put a zero. Let's just time a minus c plus plus c. Let's keep a variable left over. Left over is equal to minus plus minus. Here goes my two. Plus minus three. Here goes two. Then my left over is equal to. So this takes care of the left over plus one side. This takes care of that. Now I just need to consider the two cases. Now if answer exists, yes, it's not to be one two. If a is equal to two, and then b is equal to two. I'll save is a quick See out two one. See out. Let's try this. And now let's check. Uh, this guy can see one building, that's correct. Uh, this guy can see three buildings, that's correct. You can see one building, that's common, yeah, that's correct. This guy can see three buildings, yeah, that's correct. This guy can also see three buildings, and the two buildings are common. This should work. I'm just not fucking this up. Just run with this. I'm multiple or I'm running also just to the box. This is equal to two, this is equal to two, this is equal to one, you can see only one. I can choose an insert statement. If a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2, we can assert that a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1 is number possible in this case, right? Let's just counter that in the goggles. A is equal to 1. Else that should not be possible. Is equal to this. Let's see how to do. We can use another search statement. Assert. So if we can see B two buildings, we can assert C is also equal to. If A can see one building, then B can see two buildings.
square and put in two two here which should be one right so we can see so here a can see two buildings b can see one building so c here should also be also so Thank you. I need to copy my input output. Yes. I'm trying to check there are no runtime errors. I'm just running this locally right now. It took me like an hour to solve the big problem. Not quite a little sick under the weather. This should work. Never mind, it didn't. What am I doing wrong? Is it the two case? Yes. There be eight cases. Let's put all two. If you able to see two, two, two. One, two, two. One, one. Caesar one so this is it So I'm getting the wrong answer with it, so my assertion is not failing. It is not difficult, I'm just not able to find the corner case on it. There is some corner case that I'm not able to see. I think my logic is correct. Is the field it? Um, 
What the fuck am I missing? Is this not correct? Minus C plus B C. What the fuck am I missing? Let's just see right over here. If A plus B minus C is greater than A, the rest of the answer is A. Yeah, that's what I did right. If A plus B minus C is greater than A, return false. Yeah. Let's first see that C is greater than 1. Consider any two values. Now we satisfy the condition. Now we have minus. Yeah, that's what I did. And for C minus B. Yeah, we are. Uh, this is what I am doing. P Q R. You can put A minus one buildings. We write Q on the left and B minus one building. Uh, now we have satisfied the constraint A B C. We have an building. So now we just move this side at the height of one building. We will replace it. These two buildings and all the buildings. If we are higher than the buildings, we want to also we can hide the buildings anywhere. <coughs> and between the already placed. This means that the building with maximum height is both in the left and right hand space. It is not possible for any greater than from the answer is impossible in this case. This is this is the only piece I'm missing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the only case I'm missing. A can never be one and B can never be one. Simultaneous loop. Fuck, dude. You want to stay here? So you should give right answer now. I have the correct logic. I just I only use this in the second statement. I used it globally. This can never be one. This because if this is one, this means this is the maximum. But if that is also one, that means this is also one. It's not possible. I'm still wrong on so why? What am I missing? No idea.
Yeah, this is not working out. I didn't see the wrong answer. So. I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. We have a solve this tomorrow. No, okay. And did this right though. That of each building is not deleted. Let us assume that c is greater than billion is p and k. In this case, we can put a minus c buildings with height p on the left and b minus c buildings with height p on the right and c buildings in the previous. To satisfy the constant of both c and c, we proceed with the other so it is going to be sum at p very much so next sum is sum root but that is ohms yeah so what they are saying is so what they are saying is we can keep one 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 and then sum two heights here then sides here and then one 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 then but there is in that c's place at least one two here and at least one two here so that's what i was doing but there's no like c than one condition in my case because i can always construct this because i will always have one two high <coughs> you see is equal one you can hide buildings between buildings you can maximize and those on the one time we would have to look for some cases if a plus b minus c is equal to n. In this case, we have no buildings to write. So we can assign the buildings. Similar case one, c here. If a is greater than one of these buildings, in this case, a in place to form c is greater than one. So, a plus b is at least 3 and c is equal to 1. Just we can say that one with one rules. Consider any three values. Q R so that Q R has less than two. In this case, we put A minus one bit down. We had Q on the left, B minus one bit. Had Q on the right side. And we have so satisfy the constraint given as B. <coughs> buildings we have only two two buildings.
ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ This should work now, I do this. Come on. But no man would talk about I am out of ideas at this point. No idea. So we'll try and solve this tomorrow. I know. Uh, I am doing BTEC. BTEC in computer science first year. Mm, so that was it, I guess. What are these things? I like video and so Insert head. Okay. <coughs> insert screen marker, share settings, monetization, nature. Good. So I think that was it for today. I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. How do you do? BCA second day. That's good. Uh, from which college? Don't know. I was doing everything right. There's like some corner case that I'm missing. This is fucking annoying. There's some like very small corner case. Very small. Corner. A is equal to 2, B is equal to 2, 1, 1 will work. A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2. 2, 1, yeah, this also works. A, 2, B, 1, this also works. What the fuck am I doing? Hmm. 
I'm paid to you, Punjab to university. So you are from Punjab to where in Punjab? From Mahali. Hmm. I have been to Mahali. Like my Bhua, my Bhua lives in Khara. And I used to go to Chandigarh for coaching for some time. And Chief is like, Chief is right. Uh, I used to go from Khara to Chief is and then Chief is to 34 sector. Also went to uh, what's that hospital called? Uh, there is a very big hospital in Chandigarh, right? What is it's PGA. I also went to PGA to have my slices checked. Oh, Chandigarh is a good city. It's clean. It's organized. So how are things in Mahali right now? The COVID thing. Anyways, nice having you here. Um, maybe I will end the stream now. Bad as fuck. And I will try and solve these questions. I will try and do some tutorials. Ask, uh, ask on some forms. Forums or form the what that's called. So I'll ask on some forums and maybe I will solve this day after tomorrow or sometime later. Uh, yeah, I heard it in the news. So I will ask on some forums what I am missing and maybe I will try and solve these problems again in the coming future I will play chess tomorrow maybe I'm thinking about that I will, I will play chess tomorrow let's see so bye bye and that's it for the stream I guess